All right, folks. Uh, I read the comments always on my things, and I never look at the videos, but I will look at the comments. And people said they did not see the flag that I held up. This is just a pennant of the German, of East Germany, okay? That's it. Very basic, very easy. And the pendant I showed was the 35th year of Stasi. Two little relics I have. Okay, I wanted to finalize this, but I'm glad due to recent events that it's more pertinent now after the G20 that happened in Hamburg. Uh, things will start to make a little more sense to you now. I guarantee it. All right, Angela Merkel. <clears throat> Here's where we're going to go with this. She was definitely in the FDJ, okay? Which specialized in agit prop, agitation, and propaganda. It's that easy. I'm, you know, not going to build it up any more than that. Uh, in the book, I'm Etika, uh, it's spoken that she also worked for Stasi. Now, people will wonder how a physicist who started her career and got her doctorate in 86, when I was just starting my career in the military, how a physicist can become, an East German physicist, can become the chancellor of a unified Germany, especially with the CDU, Christian Democratic uh, Party. Well, if you think about it, and this is what I was telling you guys, how everything is always connected. You gotta know where to look. Now, Stasi was an intel agency, correct? We all know this. And the US basically makes Stasi look like nothing with its surveillance apparatus now. I also brought up the fact of disintegration, which is doxing, right? Well, what does ARA do? What does the anti-fascist do? You know what I'm saying? And how it's been propagated. And you look at our media and what they've done. CNN, fake news, hashtag. Uh, look at what they're doing, the idiots. They are uh, saying that, showing nice little peaceful images. And yet 472 police officers were injured during the... Uh, entire time of the little anti-fascisto riots but they're peaceful and they've even said it sounds like agitation and then propaganda after the agitation makes sense right why do you think they weren't cracked down on by chairman by uh, uh, Chancellor Merkel I wanted to say chairman Chancellor Merkel, her tendencies have always been communistic and cultural Marxist. Um, Angela, she uh, has always had these dispositions. Now, let's get into uh, the BND and who formed it. And I did cover this a little bit, and this will start to make sense to you guys. Uh, the Galen organization was left over after the Second World War because the CIA, every time they put some spy in, human guy in, or gal, they always got discovered. But Galen, Reinhard Galen, he had an entire organization left over from the Second World War. And so the CIA used him and his intel organization. Well, he's the founder of the Federal Intelligence Service, the BND. That's he. Look it up. You'll find out I'm, I'm correct. Now, do you not think that Stasi agents were absorbed into the BND if they knew what they were doing? Think about it. The CIA used our opposition, the Nazis, right? Look at how many Germans we used over here for rocketry and everything else. There needs to be a rational discussion within the community. You've seen the G20. 
you see Europeans and people of our race coming together worldwide, globally. Every intelligence service, I guarantee you, is shitting their pants because it's what started out as the alt right, like Generation Identitaire, uh, Trad Workers par uh, Party, all those different things. And all of a sudden, we're no longer separate. We're not disparate because uh, Identity Dixie, it's all coming under the umbrella of the alt right. There is a difference between the alt right and the alt right. Everybody knows that fascism is the only cure for Marxism. Always has, always will be. It's been proven time and time again. Franco did it in Spain, you know, and they, actually these two were the best results in Chile was done with Pinochet, right? And both of them did finally come down from power, restored the democracy, and then look where they went after that. And it's only because of the vilification after the Second World War, because of our echoing friends, that Germany's not looked at the way it needs to be looked at during that time. If it wasn't for, uh, in my opinion, wrongful intervention, um, Germany would still be a peaceful nation now. Uh, but what you're getting instead is the agitprop of the communist. These are things you have to think about. The connections come through. You have 10,000 people in Hamburg burning, looting, rioting, and nobody did anything. The police tried, right? But that's something you would pull the military out. The invasion they're allowing to happen throughout Europe because don't don't disbelieve the EU is being run by Germany. They are the economic powerhouse of Europe. England was smart to get out, and the other countries should have too, but they lost their opportunity. But what scares them more is that they're seeing that cultural Marxism's been discovered and that we're waking up. I say this all the time, and I mean it. Those in the all right, I'm I'm old dude. Got some uh, years behind me, but the future is in the youth. Everybody knows this. It will come, probably in your day, not in mine, where Europe will have to push the Muslims out of their countries. You already have Hungary and Poland who slammed it shut. They should be looked at highly for that. They're awake. And more and more every day, more people red pill. My life matters not. My words matter not. But what does matter is that we keep an outreach. So I did get a comment that I read, and I'll answer the gentleman on this uh, thing. He, he asked me, why don't I go full 1488 and start talking this and that in the JQ? Well, first off, it's about outreach. So don't think I'm not 1488. Don't think, you don't know what I am. But I do wear a fascist every day, wherever I go. Do you? Mr. Nameless and No Picture that made that comment to me. So instead of making that comment, you could have done a video response. Honestly, that's doing something. You know, what I do within my own organization where I live is not your business and how active we are. And we're pretty active. But uh, people need to start producing more comments and honestly, and content, and content. Honestly, I'd like to see you produce content. And I'm not being a smart ass. I'm trying to reach out to you to say, 
awesome comment. I liked it, and I, and I answered. It's about outreach. I said it to your comment, and like I said, I do read the comments. I may disagree. I don't look at my videos, honestly. I'm not that narcissistic, but I, I stop it, and then I read the comments because I want to hear from people, just like with the flag and the pen. I was able to show it to you. So what we need is to start getting more outreach. The red pill has to flow harder because right now, just in the growth we're having monthly, this thing snowballed. So I wish everybody a good day and happy red pilling because I know you're all going to do it. The future is in the young. God bless and have a great day.